finally time for us to read King of Scores, and I'm so excited. Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to another reading vlog. This week I am combining King of Scores and Rule of Wolves together. You don't care if I say I'm recording this a long time before this video is coming on, but it's fine. Anyway, um, so we have a chart set up of how we're going to read King of Scores this week. I actually need to check because I can't remember. <laughs> until where I have to read. So it says I have to read until chapter 100 and oh, chapter page 142 which is until chapter 9. It is this chunk of books. Uh, so mm -hmm, yay. <laughs> I also have a lot of other stuff to do but it's fine. Um, I'm sure I'll get to it. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. I might see if script has an audiobook for King of Scores although I doubt it because Ow. A lot of other Lee Bordego books are not available on it. And yeah, I'm not gonna get Audible because I'm not paying $7 every single time. I don't know if it got it more expensive, but for me, $7 is quite a lot, especially because the dollar to the rand is like 19 rand a dollar. So you can just imagine how expensive a book is. I would rather just much read the book. Anyway, so we're gonna start with that. Apparently the first chapter is quite good. It makes Ruin and Rising make sense, according to my best friend. So the first chapter is a hell of a lot of pages. I think it's 10 pages. It's not that bad. Okay. Yeah. I think I think we can do this. We will be able. Okay. Anyway, so I'm gonna continue with that and um, pass vibes all around. I guess. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Today's a Blue Monday, guys. It really is. Could you shut up? I'm about to cry. I'm so tired. Anyway, um, I'm currently on page four of King of Scots. I didn't get very far. Uh, mainly because I have been so busy with work um which is surprising because last week was just insanely quiet it was weird news is quiet that that doesn't strike me as okay you know anyway i'm on chapter page four right now i still have so much left to read and it's four o'clock yeah anyway <laughs> i still need to do a thumbnail for a vlog but that's an issue for a later time. Now I'm gonna do it now, but I also need to see if we need to add more to work. What am I what am I saying? Um I still need to work for an hour, so after that I'll just quickly go do the washing. Hang fold 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 the washing. I'm not hanging it, I'm folding it. I have to wash the pots and I have to start food. We said we're gonna make it. <laughs> Tonight I'm crashing at eight. I'm sorry, we're not watching Rebecca, I'm crashing at eight. <laughs> um yeah, so so far. I don't have much to say. It's, um, I like the cover, but <laughs> other than that, I think I'll be reading a bit more this afternoon or tonight. Am I even going to get this right? 146, right? Shut up. I still also need to update a few things on Instagram because <laughs> I'm very behind on my reviews. Well, that was awkward. update on king of scars we discovered that these chapters are super long so we are changing the chapters to six chapters a day um because yesterday i reached the end of chapter five and i just couldn't anymore my eyes were tired grant said i was tired so <laughs> you know we just ended it there um called it a day well i ended it there my friend was actually quite brave and she read up until chapter seven so we are going to read until chapter 12 today, of which I don't know where it is. Hold on. Let me put it down. And then I can find it. Chapter 12. If you hear the lawnmower in the background, I'm so sorry. Nothing I can do. So, 
I like how chapter 12 starts with Zoya. Um, the end of chapter 12. Wow, okay, um, I missed a chapter somewhere. Just to give you an idea of how long these chapters are, chapter 12 starts at page 192 and ends on 218. So Lee Bordugo clearly had a lot to say. So that's probably fine. I think I can make it. So that is the update. What I can tell you so far, um, I thought Nikolai's darkness issue, you know, where he turns into a monster, was lifted after the Darkling was killed. So that was a bit random to learn that it's still not gone. I highlighted a lot uh, the parts between Zoya and Nikolai because Nikolai is just the most charming man. They were driving over a bridge, but it was a very questionable bridge. I think the bridge was made of actual bones. And he says, as a man who regularly turns into a monster, I realize I shouldn't be making judgment about stability, but are we sure it's safe? And I was just like, he makes a good point. There were some things as well they were speaking about David, you know, the fabricator we get to know in Sh the Shadow and Bone trilogy. And he says he may be able to learn something we can use to deal with my dot dot dot. And Zoya's like affliction. He says uninvited guest. And Zoya rolled her eyes. He spoke as if he was being plagued by a bilious aunt. Well, I mean, you know, just tidbits of uh, information like that. That is actually why I like the Kindle more because stuff like that... I can highlight and then it'll pop up on my um, highlighted stuff on Goodreads and I like doing that but I also like having the physical copy with me so it's like a which one you choose at this moment ebook <laughs> but it's fine um, so yeah I'm going to be reading for the rest of the day about this did that make sense no but it's fine um, and then I'll give you guys an update once I probably reach the end of chapter 12. I don't want to give a lot of spoilers because it also spoils a lot of the Shadow and Bone trilogy and the Six of Crows duology. So I don't want to speak too much about that. Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. Um, I reached, I believe it's the 50% mark of King of Scars right now. I did not get to pa page chapter 12 last night. A friend and I watched Rebecca and I really enjoyed it. It was kind of different from the book as one would expect, but the ending was still the same. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil a lot because just now someone hasn't watched it. I just finished chapter 14 of King of Scores and I want to know what's happening. Like really what is happening. Uh, it's a mess. This whole book is a mess. Nikolai's a mess. Zoya's a mess. Um, Nina is in a mess, but hey, when is she not? To talk about the characters a bit, I really like Nikolai and Zoya's relationship. They have this banter that just works for me. I love how she doesn't take crap from him and he's all no worries. Um, and he's also, he doesn't take crap from her either. So they're just enjoying each other's company. But the sad thing is that Zoya did mention that they could never be together. I don't ship them, but I wouldn't mind if they were together, you know. But anyway, that is a situation for another time. And Nina, poor Nina, I'm not going to delve into a lot of details because there is a massive spoiler. If you still want to read the Six of Crows duology um, and then what happens in this book as well, it's very, it's tear joking, it's sad and um, I enjoy her chapters, but at the same time I'm like, I don't want to be tortured like this. But anyway, so that is the update for now. Um, I think because we have to read up until chapter 18 today. How long is that? Let me just quickly check. So it's until page 298. I'm on page 257 right now. I am dying to know what is going to happen, especially with the last part ending like that, with part one ending like that. But I have to start making food, so I'll be doing that. Anyway, so um, I think that's going to be the update for now until I finish chapter 18. I'll update you guys when I have more information.
doing a new angle because I was busy filming a video right now. My ring light is on, so I guess that's that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've reached chapter 19 of King of Scores. Wow. Just all around, wow. I um, don't know where this is going. When the part finished, I was so confused. The first part, I mean, not just the chapter. When the first part finished, I was like, what? is happening i'm not going to give any spoilers just know that you're going to be very confused um so we are currently on the port the witch in the wood i'm assuming something's gonna happen with nikolai we don't know we really don't know i just i have a lot of questions and there's not a lot of answers so that is currently where we are so our next call is tw chapter 24 uh, i suppose that by a mile get there uh, no, we're going a little bit further. So that would be page 369. So tomorrow is another six, another 26. So that's till chapter 30. Yeah. And then we read the rest on Saturday, which I don't think I will be able to. I'm, I'm going to try. <laughs> I think for now, we're just going to read six. Tomorrow, I'll probably see if I can get any further. But yeah, that is that is that for now. And we'll see how far we get. After that, I still have a lot of work to do, um, but the chapters are shorter. Thank goodness. The first part had the longest chapters and both my friend and I were just like, it needs to end. She is, well, she was like honing Cassandra Clare and both of us were just like, ah. so yeah. Although I do miss Cassandra Clare's books. Anyway. <laughs> If you can hear that, I'm sorry. Welcome back. It's Rule of Wolves time. Okay, um... So... Is it Murphy's Law that the moment I stopped recording, the person stopped? So, um, yeah. Anyway, I went to have some lunch. Late lunch. It's like 2.30 today. It is Tuesday and I am going to dive into Rule of Wolves. I'm not going to delve into what this book is. If you've read the Shadow and Bone trilogy, this is about Lai, this is about Zoya and about Nina and how they are fighting to prevent a war in Ravka. That's all you need to know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, the plan for today is to read to chapter 16. Mm, that is a lot of pages. Okay, page 235. I am currently on page 53. So, I have a lot of reading to do. Anyway, um, I was supposed to read till chapter 8 yesterday. I didn't. Because um, I started late. I went to my parents and I started late. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. But I have a few questions. Who is... The new wild mother i think we know her and she's not evil i think she's just there under disguise so maybe it was like people she knew who are coming to help her don't know but we are going with a vibe so yeah hopefully this will be done by saturday and then we can finally cross the grisha verse of our lips i'm quite excited to delve into this um i am boiling at this moment <laughs> we are having a heat wave so I'm having my fan on in the background. I think I'm just going to dive into the book, see how far I get today, because I have a few other things to do as well. And um, take it day by day, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to psych myself up because it's so hot that I can barely talk. And all my water bottles are in the fridge, busy cooling down because I forgot to refill them last night. So I'm such a genius. Anyway, rule of wolves. Uh, chapter 8. That's where I am now. I finished chapter 7 last night. <laughs> I knew about the, the, the woman, the wild mother, who said hello to Nina. I knew. That was just like a jump scare. I don't really think... Well, yeah. I didn't really think she was going to be a bad person. Turns out I was right. So, yay for me. I don't have really any thoughts. What is... <laughs> it was like a black dot on my forehead. Okay. And, um... I really hope Nikolai doesn't marry the other woman. That sounds horrible. But yeah, I know it's for alliance purposes and whatnot, but I really hope he doesn't marry her. I hope something happens that they can come to a truce and they don't have to marry and he and Zoya can live happily ever grumpy sunshine after. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. That's basically what I want. Um, I have so much to read today. I think I'm gonna get to part two, which is chapter 19. 
and then we'll see how far we get them. My friend and I said if we can't read it today, don't worry, we'll catch up this weekend because that's what weekends are for. So I am fully committed to finishing this book soon and hopefully I can get my vlog up next week. Pray for me, it's hot outside. I think it's over. Today is 33 degrees and the nights aren't much cooler. And we have low shedding as well. So the fan doesn't run the whole night through. And it's so hot. I just, I can't. I'm kind of like in swim clothes now because that is like the only thing that's cooling me down. And I also poured like a bit of cold water in the bath. And every now and then I just put my feet in the water just so that I can cool down. Unfortunately, we don't have a pool in here. So. Good morning, everyone. Happy. What's today? Thursday. Okay. Um. <laughs> Today has just been a day. I'm standing in for my boss, so waking up at four is just taking a very big toll on me. Anyway, I have reached part two of Rule of Wolves. And I can say there were a few ups and downs in there where I was just like, what is happening? Like I say, I'm not going to give spoilers. But yeah, just know I have so many questions. The royal wedding. Why did it end like that? Even my best friend, she was like, I'm so mad that that had to happen. And I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> clearly there's issues. <laughs> and um, it's only like halfway through the book. Not even halfway. I think I'm like at 40% right now. And I have to read until chapter 32 today. I'm on chapter 20 or 21. I can't remember. But so far, I'm still enjoying it. I really am. What I really am enjoying the like the storytelling and everything behind it. I, as always, am enjoying Nikolai's. I don't know uniqueness he brings to the story. So it really is enjoyable. So yeah, we'll see how it continues further and we'll see what happens further. I also grabbed myself a monster because I am already tired and I'm hot. It is 34 degrees today and it's just we're boiling. We, we really are boiling so I think I'm going to somehow make a plan to get like a pool in the house because I can't. I just like the one of those blow up ones. Good morning. Happy Friday everyone. Um I'm starting this video all very sad and I don't know why. Basically, um, I think I'm just tired. And it's one of those days where I really don't want to read anything. I'm currently on chapter 27 of Rule of Wolves. And although I'm enjoying this book, I am... I don't know. The parts where Nina's involved, I'm just like, I can't... I don't want to read them. And it's not that I don't like Nina. It's the fact that everything she does puts me on edge. But not like a... I don't like her kind of way like I fear something is gonna go wrong for her and she's been through so much already that I'm like wow this thing is shiny <laughs> that's not what I mean <laughs> but just don't want things to happen to her anymore and maybe this book will end you know like in a happy ending kind of thing but I don't know every time her chapter comes up I'm like okay I'm trying I really am trying so I have to read up until chapter 39 I think today I have to finish this book today yeah that is what's happening <laughs> and um, I have over 230 pages which I can do I just I don't know I don't feel like reading don't want to pick this book up <laughs> And it's not that it's bad. And I I have to keep reiterating. It's not a bad book. It's just that I don't want to read. And you get those days, right? You look at books and you're like, nah. <laughs> Today is not the day. So yeah, um, I think I'll try and probably get through some of it. But I also want to clean the house and put up the Christmas tree. I don't know what this was. <laughs> and then I'll probably dive into Rule of Wolves. I think the thing is the fact that I've been doing a lot of digital reading. And this book is so heavy. And I don't want to bend it too much. I mean, it hasn't... I haven't creased it yet, but... There's always first for everything. It's the it's the weather. The hair doesn't want to go with the weather. Okay, anyway, so I finished Rule of Wolves. And you would think I would have my thoughts in order by now. Um, I did read the rest of it over the weekend. We spent the weekend with my parents because they have a pool. And it was so hot here that I told my husband, I was like, listen, my parents has a pool. They invited us over for the day, but let's just spend the weekend there so that I can just cool down because it feels like I'm spontaneously combusting out of my skin. I don't know why I said skin like that. 
but yeah i finished it all in one day because on friday i said i wasn't in the mood to read anything and i didn't i just didn't read the book i didn't pick it up well i picked it up in the morning but the last time i updated you was when i stopped reading and i was just like okay i don't want to read any further and saturday um my husband was working and so i sat in the pool and I read. And we spent the evening together watching Leo, the new animation on Netflix. That was, it was fine. I just, I don't know. There's something in me that starting to get a dislike for musicals and I don't know why. Anyway, so we watched Leo and we spent the rest of the evening just chilling. And then at around 10, I started reading the book again. And I sat until one o'clock reading that book because I couldn't sleep. Not that I had insomnia or anything. It was just the book gripped me so much that I couldn't put it down. So I finished it at one. My husband wasn't impressed with me because the light was on the whole time. Again, if he does it to me, I don't notice it because I'm half asleep half of the time when he works in bed. So yeah, it's, it is what it is. But I'm giving this book four and a half out of five stars because I really enjoyed it. The storytelling was amazing. I got my happy ending, which I am very thankful for. The strange thing about this book is that it ends in such a way that we might go back to Kaz and the and his group. I forgot what they're called. The Crows. <laughs> we might go back to the Crows. And my friend did see... Uh, indication that maybe Lee's going to write about the crows again but because Shadow and Bone was a series on Netflix she just put it on a goodbye for now kind of thing. Like I mentioned before Nina's point of views were not for the fact that I didn't want to read her I just I didn't want to read her passages because every time she does something or every time we read about her something happens and I don't know my my nerves had enough of oh no what's going to happen with her and I feel like Nina just she needed some I don't know calm <laughs> and she never has calm. Also, my friend mentioned this, Nina has powers that aren't very much explored in this book. It's mentioned a few times and um, how she can possibly ruin people's lives. But if we get a book about her, then great. But they, there's not much exploring in her powers, not even in uh, King of Scars until the end kind of but that wasn't you know like wow it was just the small thing and then she continued as if she was normal so both my friend and i were like we just need something more you know to get that oomph we need a whole book about her and how she not develops her powers because she knows how to work her powers but more of what she can do with her powers i think that's what we want to see yes you can spoiler let's speak to the dead and stuff but we just need a little bit more i don't know that's how we feel and then following nikolai and zoya as well that was <laughs> wow that, i just enjoyed them and then we get two others we got the monk and then we got i believe you pronounce her name as mayu or something along those lines um she was part of the princess's like special gods and when the second part started with her story i was like why give me tamar's point of view or give me the princess's point of view why are we looking at the the god's point of view and the more you read it the more you realize oh this is why and yeah i kind of enjoyed that side quest for a while it was fun it was fun to read the war as well was quite I don't know, thinking about it now, I feel like it was a bit underwhelming. Probably because I knew who was going to win, I was just like, mm, whatever. Whatever happens, happens. I did not expect the twist that Nikolai was going to pull at the end, um, but I'm happy with it. So, and I agree with him <laughs> on that front. That was really a good description. I think Lee has been playing with the end for quite a while, um, especially if you read back you will notice how she refers constantly to Nikolai mentioning she, Zoya would look good as this, Zoya would look good as this and obviously I'm not going to spoil a lot so I'm just going to say just yeah, she plays a lot on the fact that she was leading us all towards it and i didn't notice it that is basically all the thoughts i have um quite an enjoyable read especially since the last few pages had me hooked <laughs> but that is unfortunately the end for now of the grishava series um sad actually because you know like you're, you're saying goodbye to old friends you know in a way that is going to be it for this vlog if you guys enjoyed it please remember to like and subscribe comment down below if you've read the series and what did you think of the ending do you feel like you need more information or do you feel like we need another series i don't know and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the video next week bye